Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan and I'm obsessed with all things luxury skincare related. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing and talking to you guys about the Augustinus Batter, the Cream Cleansing Gel Cleanser right here. So if you're interested in learning about this uh, cleanser, then keep on watching. You guys know that I love my luxury skincare. You guys know I love La Mer, the cleansing gel so much, the cleansing foam close second. And I kind of hold those cleanser is dear to my heart, but it's time I start branching out and trying different skincare brands. So you guys know when I tried Augustinus Batter, if you're new here, I have so many other luxury skincare videos, go check them out. But I did review the Rich Cream by Augustinus Batter. And then of course I did a side-by-side -side comparison of the Rich Cream by Augustinus Batter and then Creme de la Mer. And at the end of the video, I still decided, even though Augustinus Batter is a super popular brand, I still favor Creme de la Mer. I just think it performed better for my skin. I think Augustinus Batter was a little underwhelming for me personally, but I know people really, really, really love this brand. It has a 27 day turnover when it comes to skin health and when you really start seeing results. It's got its patented technology that people who love this brand know all about by Dr. Augustinus Batter. It was studied over 30 years and it is called, before it's a tongue twister for me, it's called their TFC8. That is Augustinus Batter's patented floor formula and it is found in all his skincare products. So this of course has that in it. So I just wanna let you guys know what exactly that is. Right off the Augustinus website, it does state that it is composed of natural amino acids, high grade vitamins and synthesized molecules naturally found in skin. While some skincare simply does its job for the day in hand, Augustinus Batter, skincare works to train skin for the long term, promoting skin that looks and feels healthier, firmer, stronger, and more even. Now, what I do have to say is, when it comes to Augustinus Batter products, the big thing that I notice is my skin does feel stronger. Firmer, maybe, but it does feel more resilient. With this patented complex that it's in integrated in all these products, it's really designed to protect your skin, kind of lock in that moisturizer and act as like a shield barrier so no other outside particles can really interrupt your skin and it can really help with the skin renewal process. I know this brand has a major cult following and I know you guys are super passionate about this brand, so feel free to comment down below to share more knowledge on this specific product as I go through the demonstration of how I've been using it and what I my final thoughts are on this product because I know people are super, super passionate about this brand. When the Rich Cream wasn't really, it was kind of underwhelming to me. Again, if you like a lengthy skincare routine and you love the process of applying a long skincare routine and you love the the luxurious, you know, I, I can't even say the luxuriousness of it because this is still a, a very luxurious brand and it still has a very high price point. Uh, but this is a very simplistic brand. You don't need much of it. The Rich Cream, you only need one product and it, that's it for 27 days to get the maximum results. And then of course this, it's a very, you really just need very minimal products when using Augustinus Batter. So, the cleansing gel is no different when it comes to really ha the idea of how it works. Now, you do get 3.38 US fluid ounces. It is priced pretty fairly for its class, in my opinion. It's priced at only $65 for 3.38 fluid ounces. Guys, that's really cheap. I know that sounds insane, to be saying that a cleanser at $65 is cheap, but for the Augustinus Batter brand, its competition really is La Mer, Sisley, La Prairie, and for its cleanser to only be $65, I think that's really competitive and fair. I think the packaging gets an A++ for me. It's glass, it's heavy. I love the deep blue packaging um, concept. It's, you know, it's classic Augustinus Batter. You get this great application right up here. It's got that Augustinus batter 
design logo and then you pump it out. I love this. I love the way this is packaged. I absolutely love it. And then of course you squirt it out. I usually apply this in the shower. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my face wet. I'm going to apply this and I'm going to show you guys how it works on my skin directly. I have no product on my skin right now. I just woke up. I have no cleanser. I've done nothing to my skin for the day. So let's get started. Okay guys. So my face is now wet and I'm going to apply this cleanser. So you just take the top off it has this great pump here I'll just pump one on the back of my hand you guys this is the cream cleansing gel so it comes out like a cream and then as you massage it in your hand it turns into a gel so it turns clear I usually do when I go into the shower I do three pumps of this I feel like that's a lot but I just, I feel inclined because I love to get a good lather going and I love to take it down my neck. This does not have a fragrance. So I do like that because the La Mer cleansers, although I love them, they do have a very strong fragrance, even like the Clay de Peau. Sisley's has strong fragrance. So this one is fragrance free. So I think a lot of people will like that. And it's very calm. Like there's no, like it's not very abrasive. So here is like the lather on my hands. And I feel like sensitive skin people are gonna really, really love this because it's very, very gentle. There's nothing abrasive. There's no foam. There's no, like sometimes gel cleansers, even though they say gel, they're still like they could still come off as foamy where this comes off in like first off as like a gentle gentle cream and let me just say this the cream that it comes out as isn't so hydrating where it feels like your pores are clogged because sometimes cream cleansers they are like so moisturizing that like it feels like your skin isn't even clean afterwards I, I don't get that impression with this product because when it does kind of like melt into this gorgeous gel, it does make your skin feel clean. It does make your skin at the same time feel hydrated. So this cleanser gives you the perfect balance between cream and gel. I There's no other way for me to put it. I hope you could kind of get the gist by the way this is lathering on my face and what I'm saying at the same time. So if you look, you can see how, yes, it's a cream and gel, but it's not but at all too foamy and it's not too hydrating. And guys, I don't use a cleansing system with this. I just use my fingers and I it's really, really nice because this product doesn't strip your skin. In a lot of facial cleansers, I always have a problem using my fingers because sometimes they're so stripping that my that my fingertips will end up getting dry and they'll end up getting stripped and then I'll have to hydrate my hands after using a facial cleanser. But this is really nice because I don't have to pay extra for a cleansing tool on top of the $65 cleanser and I could just use my fingers and just gently lather. Guys, I do the three pumps because I love to do my face. I love to get that good lather and then I love to just bring this down my And you guys, here is my face all rinsed off. What do you think? I do have to tell you, my skin feels incredibly soft and I have been using this for quite some time. And I do have to say, I really, really love this cleanser. Can you see how I have this like delicate, gentle sheen or shine? And what I love about it, you definitely have this gentle sheen and shine where it's like you feel like you're thoroughly cleansed but you don't feel so squeaky clean where you have nothing left on your skin where it's like you're so stripped where you're like oh my god you need to double up on your moisturizer just to get some moisturization and like life back into your skin this gives you that perfect balanced skin so combination skin people i would definitely recommend this product for i think it honestly just gives you best of both worlds 
I honestly, it really just depends. Like if you're super dry, I think you will still like this because it doesn't totally strip your skin. And if you're super oily, I think you should still try it. Honestly, I think you can try it, but I think combo people are really, really going to like it because as I said, it definitely balances your skin out perfectly and I do like it. Now, I just want to read the instructions before I close out the video. Oh, and I'm just going to answer this question right now because I always get the questions. I always get this. Is it better than La Mer? What would you choose, this or the La Mer cleanser? I'm just going to answer this in the video right now. Guys, the, the answer is I can't answer it because La Mer doesn't have a cleanser that compares to this cleanser. La Mer offers a foam cleanser, a gel cleanser, a oil cleanser, and a cream cleanser. This is kind of both and it's kind of up to you which one you want to try. This one has its own proprietary ingredients and La Mer has its own proprietary ingredient with the Miracle Broth. I don't think you can compare either or. This one's non-scented. The La Mer one is very scented. So you can't ask me. You guys know I'm a La Mer girl and you guys already know like my La Mer is my favorite brand. But if you're interested in trying this, I absolutely love this product and I think it's really, really, really good. Take from that what you will, but I'm not going to sit here. I can't give you guys a either or because La Mer doesn't have a com an exact comparable cleanser. They have all those different types of cleansers where this is kind of like a two in one. And I think it's honestly worth a try. So I just want to like just follow up with the final ingredients. It obviously has the TFC8 ingredients that I talked about in the beginning of the video. Rose flower water to visibly tone, refine, and soothe while supporting a strong skin defense system and aloe juice aloe leaf juice and antioxidant rich soothing emollient that hydrates and protects skin which also you have a ton of antioxidants and vitamins in the tfc8 that's also going to help with defense against uh, pollutants against your skin so you're kind of getting you're getting a lot in this cleanser. So those are my final thoughts. That's how the product worked on my skin. If you're interested in buying this, I'm going to link it down below for you guys. And I hope you really, really enjoy it if you buy it. If it doesn't work out for you, I'm so sorry. This is skincare. So everything's going to work a little differently. Uh, just so you guys know, I have combination skin. So that's why I've been enjoying this product because my skin kind of fluctuates. And that is my final thoughts. If you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel and comment down below and let me know if you've tried this or if there is another cleanser that's comparable and let me know what you think. Everybody, I hope you guys have a fantastic glowing day. Until the next video, I love you. Bye.